This is July 15, 2024, uh, making this short um, video commentary regarding the topic of, it's kind of hard to title this topic, I guess if I had to put a title on it, it would be before the truth seekers, of course, what happens when the fakery becomes too obvious. No, it's it's as if this is a uh, a head fake that I can speak for myself, but I've been seeing this coming for about a couple of years. I don't want to sound like I'm just you know ahead of everything, but I I anticipated it to happen a couple of years ago, but now that it has happened, it has happened rather abruptly, in my opinion. What I mean by when the fakery becomes too obvious, I'm not going to label a specific event. I gave the date, July 15, 2024. You can connect the dots for yourself. But what seems to be happening, as I, you know, I, I look at the typical truthers posting things on Facebook and whatnot. And there, if it's even truthers, this could all be AI, and they could just be playing me as if there's a whole bunch of truth seekers out there with Facebook pages posting real stuff. Could all just be AI. I am going to take the high road and say that these people are real. And so the the strategy is we have to prove that these people are being fooled. We have to prove to the world that they're being lied to. We have to prove to the world that you need to wake up. Pay attention to the deception. Well, have we ever considered that these people have always known that it is a deception and they have always been a part of it and they're just looking at us staying in character as if it's the Truman Show, playing along, playing ignorant, playing stupid, playing surprised, playing naive, all along they know it's it, it, it's fakery and okay so what would that mean where am I going with this premise well as I had my my last video topic basically focus on case for simulation in the simulated reality that w which would be run by Satan it, it's going to be full of it's going to be riddled with deception and lies because there's no truth in the father of lies which is Satan himself since there's no truth his script would have to be as fake as possible not only it would be based in deception and the plot line be full of falsehoods and the narrative within the plot line be full of misnomers and lies it would only it would only be natural for the progression to become more obvious that it's fake. Now we're to the point where the typical people responding to the fakery, they're now being quiet. No one's responding to the obvious. So since we have, we have apparently reached a point where, okay, everybody knows this is all fake. Whether you're talking about politics, you're talking about sports, we're talking about all, all the entertainment, well, yeah, we've been out at the creation. We've been lied to about creation. So what? We like we like the deception. Men love darkness rather than light. This is what John three nineteen is talking about. Since it, since it appears that we have come to the boiling point of okay, we we we're a point of of. Uh, it's equal. We're on equal ground. Revelation 22:11 is now set in place. The righteous continue to be righteous. The filthy will continue to be filthy. Those who love truth will continue to love truth. Those who hate truth, those who hate the light, will continue to hate the light. For the for the time being, it appears that those who love darkness have the upper hand because Satan still runs this simulated 
world that occurs in a real flat earth surface with a firmament. It uh, takes place in this real realm, but the simulation, the simulations are being written to where they're not believable. They're over the top, even to the most um, supposedly naive uh, followers who will say yes to anything that is ridiculous. Um, again, I'm at the point where everybody knows what's going on. Everybody is playing out their roles. Um, and you know the ones who are sold out, uh, they will continue to, they'll stay in character. For example, a truther will bring a topic of discussion of whatever that you know whatever topic topic would be and you are abs absolutely positive that this person you're talking to doesn't really understand the concept of what you're about to deliver to them as soon as you explain yourself and break down the topic of discussion they you ever notice how they'll just conjure up an answer out of thin air to debunk to try to debunk what you just said and most of the time what their rebuttal is is absolute nonsense and if you notice the lack of concern for their own uh, obvious uh, ignorance to the to the subject at hand those who are real quick to pull out an answer regarding a topic that they know nothing about is a sure sign of someone who is hijacked, whose script has been adjusted to accommodate something that uh, basically they're not really prepared for, but they will never listen to you openly and say, you know what, that sounds like you're on to something. I am going to consider what you just said. No, they will take on the topic and they will have an answer for you and it will be it will be so off base that you'll have to hold yourself back from either blowing up in frustration or laughing for the ridiculousness of it but uh, I really don't have a whole lot to say I just have this feeling of somewhat a dread and I sh and dread may be too strong of a word I am anticipating this head fake to be followed up with a sucker punch. We're being prepped for the big reveal and I think the closer we get to the big reveal, the more unraveled the script will become and the more obvious of the unraveling and the fakery will be more obviously exposed and the people will become as observers it will be more obvious that everyone is aware of the fraudulent events that are taking place what as truthers what do you do with that scenario doesn't do a whole lot of good trying to explain something to someone uh, how can this be? I mean, if this X, Y, Z happened, then why this, 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 and that? And they already know that it's not real. The only difference between us and them is that their lives depend on it being fake. Their lives depend on the continuation of the simulation. That's the difference. This is what we're facing. Our only hope is to continue to preach the gospel of the kingdom according to Matthew 24 14 the kingdom the physical kingdom that resides over the firmament of heaven the firmament is called heaven above the firmament is a real physical place of heaven itself where the the heavenly host dwells we are to have our focus and our priority of the full to fulfill Matthew 24 14 so that Matthew 6 10 will be realized and the, the Lord God himself will come and remove his elect out of mystery Babylon because before 
before he sets up his thousand year reign. Mystery Babylon. As, I'm, as I was saying before, the thousand year reign of Christ will take place before the end of the tribulation, before the tribulation is brought to an end through the battle of Armageddon. Mystery Babylon the Great will be destroyed at the hands of the New World Order led by the beast himself. I'm anticipating the next big event. I mean, we if, if the Lord will allow the political season to play out for 2024 and a lot of other things that are going to be taking place, no doubt. I uh, am anticipating the appearance of this Nephilim and if if you are rooted in the truth this will not catch you off guard it may actually appear to be as ridiculous as all the rest of the fakery that we have been encountering but that will be through the Lord's intervention intervention through our lives and our spirits he will keep us firm solid and rooted in his truth no matter what is thrown at us no matter what is coming next so with that being said may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with us all